Hello and welcome, this is all from Open Source Show. Welcome again to a new episode on how to. Today I'm uh, going to uh, install a LAMP server on my this quite old uh, laptop. Uh, it's running on a Celeron 2 gig of RAM. And uh, I have decided, because it's running on Ubuntu, I decided to install LAMP server for development. Uh, reasons. So um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you step by step how I would do it. And don't forget, first of all, anyway, you can follow me on YouTube and also on Facebook, Twitter and on my website. Although my website is under construction, it's going to be little changes there. But uh, nonetheless, as you can see here, it's under construction, another 45 days, more or less. And uh, yeah, and after this, it's going to be a little bit different. A lot of things are going to be changing. Anyway, uh, said so, uh, let's start for the uh, installation of the LAMP server. I'm going to close that. Here we go here. I just wrote a little memo on how to install uh, the steps that are needed to install the uh, LAMP server. I'm going to open my terminal and I'll make sure that everything is run under sudo because we need the administration, the root, uh, to install LAMP. So here we go. Done so. What I'm going to do, I just copy the first line and I'm going to do the update and I'm going to add the password. Now this is the actual password you use for, uh, you know, when you installed the Ubuntu. This Ubuntu is 1510, uh, the latest version from Ubuntu to date, and it's the desktop uh, version. It's not the server version, but uh, again, I don't need as a server. As I said, I just need it for development uh, reasons. So anyway, I done the update. Now we're going to start to install Apache with sudo apt-get install apache2 go back to the terminal and I'm going to paste it I could write it um, but as I'm, 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 I'm tapping at the moment just to show you that you can actually type it or you can actually paste it as I paste on the first line for the update uh, so uh, sudo apt-get install apache2 and I'm going to press enter. Press yes to continue. So uh, the Apache is nearly finished, there we go. Now we're going to test the local host on my browser to make sure that uh, the Apache server is working. Press enter and there we go, the uh, the default page or default page is uh, showing up. Once that's been done, I'm going back to my uh, terminal and I'm going to install my SQL with the sudo apt get install mysql dash server and mysql dash client and i'm going to paste it in my terminal and i'm going to press enter press y That one shouldn't take long. Now the next step is going to be adding the uh, root of the SQL, MySQL database password. There we go. I'm going to write uh, easy to remember for myself. Uh, of course, this is just for development. It's uh, installed on my laptop that I use for development. But of course, if you are a live proper 
in a web server, make sure you got a strong password. Press uh, OK and I'm going to repeat the password. And I'm going to press OK again. And the uh, installation should continue. There we go. Now the installation has completed for the MySQL. Now we're going to copy and paste the verify to make sure that I'm going to make sure that the actual MySQL is working. So I'm going to copy and paste my line here. There we go. I'm going to write to these notes what is for. This is for any version. For sorry, for my version 1510, or you can use the uh, anything below 1404. You can use the other line pseudo service MySQL status, but for my version, I'm going to paste pseudo system CTL status MySQL. And there we go, it shows me that it's working and is active and running. Now, once i done that, I'm going to install PHP 5 with sudo apt-get install PHP 5 space PHP 5. Uh, install it and press Y and installation goes again it shouldn't take long After the installation has been completed, I'm going to create a test PHP five, uh, sorry, PHP file inside the uh, www or the HTML uh, folder, and the file is testphp.php. I'm going to paste here. I'm going to do sudo nano forward slash var forward slash www forward slash html forward slash test php dot php and I'm going to write this little code here make sure that you write php info open close brackets right and uh, I'm going to close again the php here with the question mark there we go now control x and press y then press enter and the file has been written now what i do i'll go back to the browser i'll tell you what i'm going to restart first the apache with sudo service apache to restart now this is used for again for old but also it works for the new version of ubuntu so, go ahead, let me correct this. Is sudo not pudo? There we go. Let me write a little note here. This is for the old versions before the 15.10. I think, although it works as well with the 15.10, um, a lot of people want to use the sudo system CTL to restart the service or you know it's me sudo ctr apache 
and servicing and restart but in this case I'm going to do the older version so I'll make sure that everybody can follow this one and it will still work anyway there we go now we're going to test with my browser with local os forward slash uh, php test dot php oh don't worry about it. let me do it exactly i made a mistake there sorry guys it's test php not php test just a mis uh, typed so go back in test php here we go it works i'm up with that and uh, there we go uh, go back to my let's go back to let's see let's install the php admin now and we're going to uh, copy and paste sudo apt get install php admin this is very simple to to do just copy and paste here that should really take long press enter y and it should go Don't forget to follow me anyway. Uh, choose here Apache 2. Okay. Again, don't forget to follow me. Like or dislike the video. I hope you like it. And share as much as you can. This will help me a lot. There we go with PHP is doing it. I'm going to choose configure PHP and they say yes and the MySQL password that I used it earlier on when I set up the MySQL server. This is for myself. For yourself, if it's alive again, choose a different one and make sure it's strong. I'm going to confirm the password and then press OK. Now you want to put the actual password you provide on the MySQL server installation. That is the administrative user. And that's it. It's populating the SQL database now. And there we go, the installation is complete. Let's see. I'm going to restart again Apache. Now, I'll tell you what, I'm going to show you how to, to do it for the new version again. Show you that it works. System, CTL. Restart. Space Apache 2 and I remove it start and end. There we go, I'll press enter. There we go, that's been rest restarted. Going back to the browser. There we go, service. As you can see, it's totally different the other way around. But uh, yeah, this is the new version way of doing it. No, it didn't work. <laughs> I wanted to copy on my uh, notes, but it didn't work anyway. Sorry, this guys. There we go. Uh, let me test this for now. Go back to the browser. Localhost forward slash PHP my admin. Now the logins for this one is going to be root. And the password that I have chosen on the installation of PHP server. Sorry, uh, PHP MySQL server. I'm not going to remember. And there we go, we are inside PHP My Admin. Going back to the main page. There we go, that's the. Uh, 
overview default page for uh, Apache 2 for Ubuntu here explains a little bit the configuration I'm going to do a list as you can see here we got all the folders and files ls again we got Apache here somewhere there we go that's the Apache folder and all the files and folders there I'm going to go out a little bit here here you can find all the configurations anyway if you need it so here we go let's go back to the uh, YouTube page and I would like to thanks every uh, subscribers thanks for following me please again don't forget to share and like my videos I like like it or like it is up to you the more you like it the more video I can do and don't forget to share it here at the end I just created a new page for you to click and go to the new videos thanks again